Hi, it's Kunu here. How are you doing? Uh, I wanted to make a short video. Uh, I haven't made a video for about a month or two, but um, I just really have this real stirring inside my spirit of recently. Um, and so I've just, um, I just wanted to put this out there because, you know, we, we, we live in a very, uh, at the moment, very fearful um, culture all around us. And I'm sensing um, everywhere we go, there's a lot of a um, lot of intimidation and even from, um, you know, from recently I walked into a, a shop and I didn't have my mask on and um, and I said, look, I've got an exemption and, um, yeah, we had a bit of a disagreement backwards and forwards. Um, you know, he, um, yeah, he was not happy that I wasn't, you know, obeying by the rules, but I did say I have an exemption and um, anyway, it's um, in the end, it just we just walked away. I just kept shopping and he just, you know, the shopkeeper went and, and did uh, what he needs to do there. But um, I've stopped looking um, at hot topics around, you know, this topic of the vaccine. Um, you know, and I'm getting bombarded with, with, you know, videos and stuff like that about, you know, the vaccine this and the vaccine that and, the you know, the mask wearing and, and all these statistics. And so I stopped watching them. The reason being because I, I have... Um, I have a heavenly father who I've gone to and I prayed. And um, anyway, I just want to read this message that I even wrote this morning to a couple of my friends. And I said that I've stopped looking at these videos concerning the hot topics of recently. And uh, I've done my research on this vaccine topic and it's a simple decision. And, and this is just my my personal, um, you know, belief and, and val what I value. Um, you know, uh, the sim simplest decision can make about this, you know, about that what life is throwing at us right now, it's this, always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again, rejoice, let everyone see that you are considerate in all that you do. Remember that the Lord is coming soon. So this is from Philippians chapter 4, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard our hearts and minds as we live in Christ Jesus. So you see, um, Philippians 4, 4, 7, uh, when you were in the word, um, you know, we don't have to worry about stuff. We rejoice in the Lord through it. You know, when, when life's, life's things, you know, throws at us, we trust in the word of God. When, when we inquire of the Lord, we enter into the courtroom of heaven. Yeah. So therefore God has the final say, not man, not government, God. And in every single matter known to man. So sh you should try it more often. Yeah. Worry less and you less worry. Give it to him. You know what I mean? And he carries the burdens for you. He's the burden carrier of your heart whatever things is burning there give it to him yeah and um i've stopped even wearing the mask why because the lord gave me exemption amen i belong to him therefore as a child of god i have rights as as a son of the most high god um you know that right is lived by faith by him who died in my place and paid for me with his own precious blood he redeemed my soul and so what can what more can i say this God, he, he exchanged my life and he gave me his, yeah? So, of course, today is actually overwhelming, you know, faith has to rise inside of us. We're exempt, um, you know, because God has exempt us, amen? So, this is my personal view. I walk with the Lord and I, I whatever, whatever things, you know, even come, I carry a pass on me, you know, just as a physical form on my phone and one in, in a physical copy. Um, you know, to show the agnostic people, you know, when they approach me in banks, in supermarkets, anywhere in the public places. Um, and I, I then get the opportunity to preach the gospel to them too and, and tell them that they, they should repent and turn to God and turn from their false idols and, and from, you know, the false gods of the day and from the wickedness around and, and come to him. So it gives us a right to preach. So that is my experience of recently, and um, and I'm going down this path because I really sense God is wanting me to step into faith and allow Him, um, you know, to to speak to you. Because when you enter into the courtroom of heaven on your knees and pray, and you get His exemption of heaven, um, no matter what man might say to you, and and then government authority, not that we are we are you now we're trying to rebel against authority, but we actually have to, um, you know, allow God to actually. You know, know be the only authority that we receive confirmation and his word is yes man yes and amen again what does philippians um, chapter chapter 4 say let's read again 
We'll read it one more time. Philippians chapter 4. Watch this. <clears throat> rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Wow! So praise God. Whatever things are true, whatever um, uh, things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever th whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think around these things. Yeah? Wow! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We rejoice greatly in you. So I just want to speak even this video that I made. I know that it glorifies you. And I, I just want to bless your name, God, because there are some people round about that are, are, are living um, in, in this timid world where, where, where they start to isolate themselves because the enemy is a thief. He's a liar. He's a cheat. He's a murderer from the beginning. But we have overcome the world because, Jesus, you have overcome and you've given us a right to become a son of God, a child of God and an with Christ Jesus. So bless you. Bless you in the name of the Lord with the Lord's blessing. I hope this finds you well. Be blessed.